from like the highest of highs of everything's going great to uh, just bullshit. Well, but actually, welcome, you, welcome to real world race cars. <laughs> you know, for, for real. You know, there actually is a blessing here, though. You want to know what it is? What? I forgot to hit headset and microphone up back on for the recording, so none of anything was recorded. Nice. Went until right now. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Till We're like... not doing this again when he's tired. That's the bottom Oh my line. god, no. Alright, yeah. so we get to restart. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yay. I'm sorry. Yay. I'm hey, sorry. Greg, tell us again about your... <laughs> <laughs> we can skip that this time. Okay, we'll yeah. say. There we go. We'll just start here. Screwed up, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> god. Oh god. I don't even know how I started. Oh, oh my uh, God! You started by saying uh, Ian. We were talking about, no, we were talking about <laughs> Kevin's win and triple threat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, obviously, I, I screwed all up. Teammates, because you guys all helped. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, Kevin, you definitely helped me this race. It was a huge help. Yeah. <laughs> and Ian, you guys have heard him on Arc. You guys have heard him in our recordings and stuff. Ian brings to us with him the eleven eleven sponsorship that we now have. Ian. Give us a good introduction on yourself, man. I'm sorry. Again. All right. Here we go. So, look, I'm Ian Ogden, uh, Air Force veteran. I served from 2007 to 2014. Um, I do a little racing in real life at uh, South Boston Speedway in South Boston, Virginia, and then a little bit at uh, Virginia Motor Speedway in what is known as Jamaica, Virginia. Not quite as tropical as the real Jamaica, but you know it is what it is. Um, and then I work with uh, Racing for Heroes, who's a veteran nonprofit down at Danville uh, at VIR that uses motorsports as therapy. Uh, they have vitamin programs, stuff like that, to try to keep guys off of the prescription pain meds and anything like that. Um, and then they use motorsports as therapy, so they uh, get guys in, build race cars, go race them, and have some fun. Um, give them a task and a purpose again, right? So like. When you're in the military, you know you know what you're what you're doing every day. Um, so they try to give a guy, hey, we need to rebuild this motor. So they go in, rebuild the motor as a team, and uh, go race that car when it's all done. You know, all said and done, and have a little bit of fun with it. You know, try to get guys off that brink of uh, their demons, if you will. Um, and like I said before, we uh, missed out on the recording. Uh, Eleven Eleven Veteran Project. Those guys are my friends. Uh, Colin Garrett is a Former NASCAR Xfinity driver, uh, current road course racer. He's actually down in Coda running right now. Um, and then Brian White is the CEO of that. That's Colin's half brother. Um, and those guys are like family to me now. They uh, have built up a Rolodex of resources for veterans, veteran spouses, dependents, um, Gold Star families, all that stuff. Um, that if anybody's looking to start a business, needs resources for mental health, um, you know, any sort of nonprofit uh, or, you know, uh, organization that helps veterans, they've got a pretty decent set of resources there uh, that you can reach out to them and they'll get you in contact with the right person so that you can uh, get a hold of them and get moving forward. Man, thank you. And again, I'm sorry you had to do that twice. <laughs> Ah, it's all good, bud. I, I saw <laughs> I've got it down to an elevator. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good thing you know. <laughs> it's good for us to hear. It's good for us to hear again, too. Yeah, I'm sitting here trying to write it down, but I'm not that bad. <laughs> no, again, nah, Ian, thank it's, you. Uh, I, it's, you know, the 30-second elevator speech is good. If you guys want a three-minute, you know, good spiel about it, we can do that, too. But I think uh, the 30 seconds hits the high points and uh, all the all the good points, right? Yeah, it works. Of course. So, I mean, I, I again, I can't I can't thank you enough for everything you've done for us, and I'm glad you're willing to join us, and we've enjoyed having you, especially in our new ARC series, too. Those of you that haven't seen it, we opened a new series for ARC on the PC. Uh, allegedly, you can cross over with the Xbox. I did learn that. Uh, but join us. It's free to the community. Come out hang out with us. Watch four old guys trying to figure out how to camp and survive, which it doesn't go well. And we may end up killing each other a few times. Never, <laughs> y'all never killed me yeah <laughs> yeah i'm sorry it'll probably happen again <laughs> speaking of which greg have a good night never mind yeah. we'll go to that now <laughs> now actually in arc greg has been pretty instrumental there greg's been instrumental for the channel this last month all over the place not just 
his performance in the racing and performance and arc, but behind the scenes, this guy has been doing so much for our our team, like our broadcast, our uh, stream, everything. To a point, we're almost needing a freaking sponsorship from what's that team viewer? I think it was. Yeah. <laughs> he has to take control of my c- computer every day. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Not quite every day. Some days you get away with it. Yeah, on the days that I'm not streaming. He's got to go over there and push the power button for you. Turn it on. I'm just sitting here like, I grab wheel, I go. That's about all I can do. Yeah, and usually I have to tell him, no, no, not yet. No, 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 no. Stop stop pressing buttons. It's not your turn. And that's, that's exactly what happens. That's exactly what happens. Like, I'll sit there, and one day the mouse wasn't moving, so I thought he wouldn't do anything. I grabbed it and started clicking. Next thing I know, I was like, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to sorry, click dude. on something, and he's off clicking on something else. I'm like, what's going on here? <sighs> Gotta, better go clear my history, now that I think of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I keep telling you, he's got to work on that. He's, yeah, he's a little, little gotta questionable take those, on the history, you know? Those videos of yourself off of the computer, if he's going to get on it. They're very short videos. Yeah, sure. (laughs) (laughs) So NASCAR season ended this year. Who was upset that a Ford won? I know one of you was. I wasn't really (laughs) static, ecstatic with who won, but you know. Yeah, you know. Listen, I I don't. I I have a kind of a personal uh, vendetta against Joey Logano, but uh, you, you know, he is a good steward of the sport coming up. I mean, he's doing a lot of restoring cars and stuff like that. So oh, yeah. I don't, I don't hate him, but so much anymore. Uh, but, yeah, it's still Logano. <laughs> yeah, mean, it's still Logano. And you can't get it, you can't get away from uh, Hamlin making fun of him. So. <laughs> it's just a right Yeah. <laughs> you can't get away from it. So, no. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, I was happy with it, but I mean, yeah, if you like talk about him just as a person himself, his his foundation does a lot of good things. He does a lot of, I've actually seen him actively doing stuff. So, I mean, I don't, I can't say I don't like the guy. I can disagree with a lot of, with a lot of things he's done, but I can say that about a lot of drivers too. Yeah, it's, for sure. It's yeah. Things. No, like, yeah. When it comes to drivers, there's a lot of drivers that I might not like, but it usually doesn't have anything to do with them as a person. Right. Yeah. 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 Actually, I feel bad. Like, I'm not a huge Kyle Busch fan, but I remember watching a security video or a video of him at uh, Bristol, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And they were just walking outside the track and like some dude like jumped on his back and started punching him. I think it was like last year or two years ago. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Yeah, It was so stupid. Like, really? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of crazy. Drunk morons. Yeah. Well, yeah. (laughs) So what else we got? I, I was if if uh, Chastain or the nine car couldn't win it, it was all right with him. I mean, he you know. He yeah, I don't even remember who was in the playoffs now. This well, it was yeah. the nine, the nine, the one, nine and uh, the one. twenty. Yep, that's right. Yeah, yeah, and then him. That's right. I kind of so. thought that would have been cool to see the twenty make it, just because. Hell no. Well, here's my reasoning. Here's my reasoning. The last race of, was it the second cutoff? Like, he had to win it, and he did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Then the next one, he had to win it on the last race, and he did it. Yeah, it's like, yeah. No, it's cool. The chase, I think initially the first time they did it, that when it was just 10 races, there was no kick out or anything when Jimmy Johnson won 23 in a row or whatever oh it was. Oh, my God, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I did not like the chase, but the way it is now, I think it's very cool. It's hard to win. Um, you know, I was pulling for Chastain all the way yeah, because it would have made that Martinsville move legendary if he would have won the championship <laughs> yeah. in the next race. Now it's just a cool move that they're going to show forever, but it would have been legendary if he would have won the championship. See, I've been saying it all year too. It's like, I've been loving this track house team and I've always backed Brad Kozlowski for years. I just don't, the RFK thing does not feel right to me with it. And it's kind of proven itself that way. So I've been like, man, these Chastain guys, they seem to be all over it this year. I like their attitude. I like their driving style. But they're in yeah, Chevys. Yeah. <laughs> well, did y'all see the latest news? Which come out? Which part? About 
about RFK with uh, Rick Ware Racing? Yeah, they're absorbing part of that or something. So Rick Ware will be uh, running out of their shop. Did he run Chevys before? Who? Yeah. Well, Rick they kind of ran. They kind of ran everything. I don't think they really they had ran, any, uh, ran whatever somebody they could get from someone. He, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Well. Um, go ahead. Sorry. You know, because Rick Ware was with Stuart Haas, so that'll be interesting to see what the change is there. Maybe that'll help Stuart Haas get back on their. Uh, they get back to winning. Yeah, because they lost something over the off season. Yeah, for sure. There you all go. What? To blame old, blame old Rick Ware for the problem. <laughs> I mean, they're they're the easy target, right? I mean, well, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, they just didn't adjust to the new car as good as some of the other teams. Yeah. Listen, I I won't. I look live fast motorsports. BJ McLeod and uh, what's the other dude's name that's with him? Uh, yeah. God, who who started that team with him? We'd have to look it up. Yeah, yeah. For sure. we'll come back to that. The, but I will say this: driver. I will say this: this merger with Rick Ware and RFK, given RFK's performance and issues this year, I think they should have taken another year before spreading themselves too thin. Well, uh, Brad Keselowski knows how to build a winning organization. I he mean, does. he did it in the he, he did it in the truck. Give him a couple of years, see what it looks like, and. Oh yeah, I mean, I hope the best for him, but I mean, just well as an owner, I hope the best for him. But as far as driving right. styles and stuff, I'm track house. I, I, I mean, that. how how much do we know as far as what did Brad actually contribute to that? Was it just his name on an on an organization that had management that was doing everything, or was it really him? I mean, you know, if it's if it's everybody knows it's him, that's cool. But if not, then we may be ignoring some of the fact that. You know, it might be more to do with somebody else than just, you know, who was who was in control of the organization at the time more than just him himself. We're well, talking about the truck team. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, his dad was instrumental in it. Um, you know, Bob. You know, unfortunately, he passed away yeah, this year. Yeah. Um, but you know, he. I think he knows how to get the right people in place, even still. I mean, he's always been, and that, that's what attracted me to him as a driver. He's not just a driver, but he's he's he said attracted to. Oh God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I can't think of any other words right now. We're at eleven o'clock at night. I'm tired. <laughs> so, which driver were you attracted to? <laughs> the one with the best beard. Oh, okay, we can we can go. <laughs> no. God. But uh. God, where was I go? You dicks. Something he's smart. He's Something not just a race car driver, but he's educated. He's smart. He knows mechanical engineering. He knows how to. He's really smart as a businessman. Sound like you're talking about Ryan Newman. You talking about Kozlowski? Yeah. 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 If his cheeks get any bigger, we're gonna be in trouble. Though. He looks like an old English dude from like the Revolutionary War or something. We how don't do we know do where his not? roots go, from, right? We don't know where his roots come from. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know. Roush wasn't a top tier team to begin with. No, right. So they used to be, but uh, they've fallen off pretty bad. So yeah, uh, I'd like to see what he can do with it. We'll, see well yeah, that. I mean, I like what Greg said though. Like, how much input does he really have in that? I don't know. I would assume he has a little bit if he took an ownership, you know, part and not just. Well, drive. I'm. I was talking more about his truck team. How much of that was actually him? Oh, versus, yeah. I got you. Versus okay. father and. Yeah. Just and anybody, his brother. Yeah. Whoever, so then, whoever was operating. I mean, does his yeah. brother? What does his brother do now? Anybody? Uh, I don't know who he's working for these days. He used to work for Sam Hunt Racing until he got fired. Uh, let's look it up here. Yeah. And then he was crew chief and for uh, for Sam Hunt Racing. Let's check it out here. I'm looking it up. Brian, right? Yep. He is <coughs> currently. Yeah, I don't know. Looks like he's doing his own thing with uh, Brian Keselowski Motorsports uh, BKM Speed Shop. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing too. Yep. Nice. Nice. So, um, I think he's uh, married to. Uh, um, oh, what's her name? Danica Patrick. 
No. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would. I'd find a way to call it. I'm guessing it's uh, something Kazlowski. No, it's <laughs> at um, this point. <laughs> in, infield Jen is what her, her name is. She basically. Wait a, like a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Infield Jen. That sounds that like. That sounds like. like that sounds somebody like a hooker. Did, yeah. Or a race <laughs> they they like pass her around at Daytona or something. Yeah. <laughs> No, she's, uh, she's like a <laughs> PR person. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's just like her Twitter handle or whatever. Actually, mm-hmm. I think Jeff Gordon, his first wife, was 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 that. But... <laughs> a hooker? Uh, <laughs> wow. She was a... She was a um, she handed the trophies to the drivers in uh, the lane. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, one of those. <laughs> One of those. You got you got one of those kind of girls. Two words: hey. trophy and girl. What does she do? She has a trophy. What time is it? <laughs> time for you to go to bed, evidently. Yeah. Now I want to Google that. And be like, is he really a trophy? No. Uh, be careful what you're googling at this time of night. Right. Oh my <laughs> god. Come up with some crazy shit. Dude, I was not. I'll go off subject here for a second, but I was. Have you guys seen Big Bang Theory? Yeah. Oh my god. The scene came on the other day where Sheldon was like, I don't know how to make them happy because he's going to teach the schoolgirls about science. Uh-huh. So he goes and Googles how to, what is it, how to get 12 year old girls excited. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. God, that well, show's great. <laughs> that's, a, that's a method. That's that, not that, a good one, but it's a method. Yeah, they jumped up and they're like, no. Oh, God, I love that show. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> Yeah, we'll yeah, leave sure that one alone. <laughs> we will leave that one alone. Hey, it's on PV. It's Big Bang Theory. I didn't come up with the script. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be canceled pretty soon. Shit. <laughs> yeah, you're probably not wrong. I'm going to start recording it then. <sighs> hey, so I'm driving to Maine tomorrow. I'll be sleeping somewhere in New Jersey tomorrow night. Um, I'll what, be up there wait, for the week. I'm a- I'm out. I'm out. Why are you sleeping in New Jersey? That's what I want well, we're just going to leave like around lunch tomorrow. We're going to stop gotcha. and do dinner, get a hotel, and then finish gotcha. it on. Cause, you know, because I'm old. That's why. <laughs> okay. I'm the same I, way, dude. I don't like dealing with traffic. <laughs> you know, so if I yeah. if I stop somewhere around exit 7 on the turnpike, I can get up at 6 in the morning, and I can be through New York City before everybody gets off gets up right. in the morning, and I can be home by lunchtime. Yeah, so. I hear you. I make that drive quite a bit. Yeah. Okay. Where do you uh, stop oh, at yeah. in Jersey? I usually stop around exit between seven. And, I think it's nine, eight or nine. We stop at. There's a bunch of hotels. Yeah. He goes no. to he goes to Camden and <laughs> goes off of MLK Boulevard and gets some drugs and then keeps driving because he's got his cocaine fix. Then I'm wide yeah. awake. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like ten feet off the ground, so I pass everybody. Yeah. Where are you going up to Maine? Where do you go in Maine? Uh Poland. Ah, what's yeah. a country? Yeah, that's yeah, true. It's also a town <laughs> in Maine. It's also <laughs> there's a thing called Poland Springs water. That is correct. It is. Yeah, it comes from, from Poland. It comes from that area. Yep. Yep. Maine. Yeah, that's yep. not far. I'm going to Lewiston. So okay, Auburn, yeah, yeah, you're you're 25, like, 30 minutes from there. Yeah, like right there, Oxford yep. Plains Speedway. I used to go race yep. there. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I uh, you know, I was up there for two and a half years and never went to Oxford Plains. Or Beach Ridge. Oh, uh, uh, Oxford is very small. It's like one eighth of a mile or something. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure you race it on this game, and it's hard. Yeah, it's a awesome. circle. It's the only I one that it. actually makes me sick. Corey likes yeah. it. No, I, we had that one race there, Kevin. <laughs> We're going to do Indy cars year. there next time. Oh my that god, that sounds like a absolute <laughs> blast. Actually, <laughs> uh, invite me to that, please. <laughs> hey, we could do that one of our mania nights. Yeah, uh, <laughs> maybe uh, we'll think about it. We should do a test there first, <laughs> just to see. I'm down. Yeah. I'll try it. Uh, Which indie car? I've got iRacing racing open right now, so I'm just gonna go do. Let's that. do. <laughs> He's think... gonna go try. It. <laughs> I think I got the old Delora or Delara. Oh, okay. Where? Yeah, you I don't know. That's crazy. You end up in Jersey, yeah, because we, whenever we're going up there, we end up in Pennsylvania overnight. 
Yeah, but you go. We're, we're come, way west. Different angle. Yeah. 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 Now, if I don't want to deal with traffic, that's the way I go up to all the way up to Scranton on 81. Yeah, yeah. And I take 84, like all, yeah, yep. 84 all the way down, but that just adds like three hours. Yeah, it does. So if I just go straight up, I can. The fastest I ever did it is a little under 12 hours, but um, I, I do that trip up to Poland. I usually leave at midnight, and then I'm back home by one o'clock in the morning. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> i try to do a turn and burn to go get my daughter yeah 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 we'll be up there for a week got a wedding to go to and then we'll nice. be back so i'm gonna miss next friday's race that's okay i will be too friday night yeah win, win one and then you just said you know what i'm done i'm gonna yeah I'm, I'm ninth in points before this race tonight Corey, Man. you were asking earlier yeah and then I'm gonna miss one more, and what is this? Only one more race after that, right? I think so. Yeah, no, yeah, so we're too. done on the 16th this month. Then we come back, I think, the sixth, and it's till February third. <laughs> so. Well, I, no, I mean, uh, for the chase to get in the oh, chase. Oh, to get in the chase? Yeah, there's yeah. two more races. So. Yeah, so I'm gonna miss one of those, and I got to be in the top eight, right? So. Yeah, I think so. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Right but, now, I'm I'm set in right now. So. Yeah, you're good. I don't think missing a week's gonna bother me too much. And Garrett, the guy in front of me, he's just so far ahead, and he keeps winning. Dick. <laughs> <laughs> he's quick, man. He's quick. Oh, he's good. Yeah. Yeah. And he's and he's a good dude. He is know? a good so, dude. Yeah, he's not a dirty racer. Or, you know. Well, he, has... he gave yeah. me a little tap tonight that I didn't appreciate. Yeah, I mean, I mean, actually, you were behind me for that one, weren't you? I don't know. That was me. Like, I think I remember you calling it out. It's like I was going left and right all down the back stretch. Oh yeah, 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 he yeah, just... yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I that's where I got all my damage. Yeah, he because, just straight up nailed me. The truck that was behind you guys, he he just turned right, and I ran into him, and that's that's when I had to. That's the whole fuel <laughs> strategy thing had to happen. So yeah, that. Won me the race, thanks, Corey. I can't believe that. I, I even know, I said that. It. I even said that when you did it. I was like, that might I remember. be the winning like speed. Yeah, yeah, I remember you said it. Yeah. Miles per so hour. Maybe it's a winning strategy. Oops. We'll see. I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news here. Uh-oh. Yeah. But I don't think... We're not recording? I, no, we I are. Can get, uh, <laughs> I don't think I can get the Indy car to pass tech. I I opened <laughs> up the the, uh, the old Delara DW12, the Legacy. Uh-huh. That one works. I put it on baseline. Okay, I, the new one, the new one I can't get. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go with the Williams FW31 F1. Oh, the Richmond one works. Okay, let's let's see. <laughs> I don't even think I have the new uh, IndyCar. See oh how my this god, goes. the Delara is not fun yet. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Which? What is that? It's an old Indy style. IndyCar? Car. Yeah, I think so. I'm not exactly sure the IndyCar models are. Like what they call them. So the di- well, they call them. IR18 is what I'm in. Is it? Yeah, I'm in the 12. Isn't it the Mercedes? They call them what they are. Mercedes. Uh, I'm looking on, at the store right now. Williams. FW31. Those are the F1 cars. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we should use for sure. The yeah. F1 cars. <laughs> yeah. Do them in Oxford? That'd be a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be great. It'd be, it'd be good fun. Oh, the Delara. I see it now. I'm running uh, 13.8 second laps. Shit. <laughs> I bet they handle like a mug on that little track, though. It's uh, it's interesting. Yeah. 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 If you get Robert in there, what's his name? Andrew. <laughs> oh, my God. We're all dead. There you go. <laughs> Calling people out. <laughs> they don't know him by name, but he he's a cool dude, man. Yeah, he's he's good. It's I, you know, he's he, he he's, keeps it interesting. He's he's attempting. Yeah, yeah. No, it's great. I enjoy having him. I hope hoping he joins our art. So, uh, is there any other uh, eye racing that you guys are doing or tonight? No, 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 no leagues or anything that you guys have done this past month. Well, yeah, actually, we just finished up the eye racing warriors league Monday nights. Uh, Greg, actually, I think you finished higher than me in that one. For Greg someone that's third and 
third and point. Yeah. For somebody that doesn't like or do asphalt. I didn't say I don't like uh, it. <laughs> He's he's a he's a good racer on I racing man. He's that's, good, yeah. That's the bottom line. No matter what it's on, he figures it out. I don't know if we got him on a road course yet. I haven't seen him on a road course. I don't think. I've only seen him um, on the road course not... with the six three. Or what was that car you put on there? Six fifty eight. Uh, I ran with you guys when you were practicing for Road America. Oh, that's that right. Was, yep. And I was god awful. Yeah, but that was that right. was a hard no 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 that was though you were in the truck right that I, time I ran both <laughs> but the first one I ran was a freaking Xfinity car and I couldn't drive the thing but they were both like no traction yeah that yeah. was a horrible race that they were they were I mean, a little rough yeah we did well in that race I think but oh uh, Corey I think you what happened Corey did you win that race uh, no he got he got taken out he got taken <laughs> out by a lap car. Greg, you were supposed to ask him. <laughs> How did that race go, Corey? Yeah. <laughs> Taken out by a lap car while leading 96% of the race. 97%. Dude. I think I, I did the math. It was like 96, 97% of the race I led, and a lap car took me out. That's that's well, a little too obsessing. I did the math. I do well, a lot. While <laughs> we're on the subject of Road America, that was the uh, Master Sergeant Sucky race, wasn't it? Yep. Yes, it was. That's yeah, right. It was. Yeah. That was our yeah. first race with 11 11. We sponsored that one. Yep, yep. we sponsored yep. that one. We, it was the Master Sergeant Stucky 90. Uh, and yeah, we should have had that one that night. Unfortunately, that didn't happen, but hopefully it would help the cause. And it actually, I'm sure it did. It helped out the channel. We had a good night yeah. that night. Yeah. Um, so, well, while we're on this, I mean, or on the subject of that, let me pull up the fundraiser for that and let you guys know what uh, the final tally would be. I thought it was still open. It's it closed on Veterans Day. Did it? Okay. Yep. That's a bummer. We gotta can... get another. See what they're doing next. Well, we, we can find something, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, they ended up raising. It's still open, actually. That's yeah, what I thought. Still open. I thought they had closed it, uh, but it, as of right now, uh, it's fifty three hundred and five dollars that's been raised for that family. Oh, good. Wow! Yep. And so, we donated one hundred eleven dollars and ninety one cents. Yep. So uh, that's uh, just to kind of yeah, you know give a background. I, I know we've talked about it on the on Twitch and um, all of that, um, but just to give kind of a background in here as well, Matt started Stucky. Uh, as an Air Force active duty, um, she was misdiagnosed by some Department of Defense doctors um, with a curable condition. Unfortunately, she ended up losing her life uh, on her way back to the hospital um, up in Birmingham, Alabama. She was stationed at Eglin Air Force Base, Florida. Um, and so she left behind a husband and four kids. And as of right now, they have not received any sort of uh, line of duty settlements or anything like that from the Department of Defense. So they're trying to raise money to obviously, you know, the holiday season stuff for everybody. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you lose your, lose your mom, you know, you got four kids that are going through a rough time during the holidays, trying to raise a little bit of money for them to uh, help them with some bills. And obviously Christmas is coming up as well. well hopefully we're going to be able to keep doing what we're doing and helping them out best that we can. I mean, we've, this channel has accomplished quite a bit this year and it's been thanks to people like you guys have been helping me out and now joining us. Uh, I mean, we're on track above and beyond where we should be at this time. And based on studies, uh, Howard Stern, watch out. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're coming. <laughs> we're coming. We're take over. Give but, us another uh, 10 yeah. minutes. We'll get it. We'll get <laughs> He's attracted to Brad Keselowski. Now he's coming. Awesome. Yeah. This is just great. <laughs> We're going to... iRacing's taking over NBC. We're going to be the ones that are actually broadcasted now. <laughs> there you go. Get rid of the whining so much. Not calling anybody out there, but <clears throat> some. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking uh, forward to... And... Oh, so, 13.3 seconds now. Uh, nice. <laughs> Let's see how he does in a crowd. Yeah, right. 
It's, to, yeah. To quote Days of Thunder. You can see like, what, 20, 25 people joining us for that? That would be ridiculous. Oh, oh my, my God. Goodness. Hey, at Oxford, they do Enduros. They put like yes. 250 yep. cars on that track, five wide. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen videos. The leaders of that. at the start finish line, and the last row of cars is in turn one on that little tiny yeah. track. Yeah. And it's yep. like, ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen videos wrong. of that, and I was like, "That's just ridiculous." You know, my favorite thing that they do is the uh, spectator drags, so. though. Yeah, yeah. They get everybody to bring Those their boxes out. <laughs> really? So they can just take their car out there and go? Yeah, yeah. They, yep. they bring their their shit box minivan or whatever out. You know, Beach some Bridge people did. bring nice cars out there though. Yeah, and I don't, I don't know why I wouldn't do it. You're Beach trusting Bridge. that that other guy won't wreck you. Yeah, right. Beatford was doing some other shit where they were doing like. Uh, they had a ramp on the front stretch, and they people would like take their Jeep or whatever it is, like a tough truck almost competition, and yeah. they would try to run it on two wheels or like jump it off of the ramp. And, what kind of insurance the track have to have for that, man? Right. Well, that's I guess why everybody signs now. a waiver. That's why it's closed now, and it's going to become a distribution center for Amazon or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. So Oxford Speedway is closed up? No, nah, Beach Ridge. Oh, Beach Ridge. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Beach Ridge is in, uh, or was in Saco, Maine. Right, yeah. Oh, I know where that's at, okay. I've been yeah. around there a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most of the time, I'm just in a hotel. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to going back up there. It's been a while. Not in the winter time. Just... Yeah. Well, yeah. you probably got almost the same winter they have up there, where you live. Yeah, in Michigan, oh yeah. Well, we went up, was it last year? A year before we went up for Christmas, and I don't remember last time I saw that much ice. It was just ugh. Yeah, I can't stand it up there. Yeah, I told Allison I was like, "That's that's why I wanted to go south." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, all my family's there, so I like that, but I don't like the cold. I just can't, you yeah. know. I tried. I went back to Massachusetts for a few years, and Camaros and Corvettes don't like. No, nope. ice. They so. sure don't. They don't like rain either. See, now I'm gonna climb through this shit. And <laughs> 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 hey, I, I felt bad. So for Ian, that. he's yeah. he's talking shit because I I destroyed a Corvette. Uh, it was raining like hydroplane. Oh shit! Yeah, that's it. so he's. Where was this at? Recent. Uh, right here. Yeah, probably what a couple months ago. Yeah. yeah. Come on now. Yeah, man. It just, I was getting on the highway, a hydroplane, and nothing I could do at that point. I was just along for the ride, so totaled what, it. Uh, what exit were you? Uh, oh, it was, um, let's see. I was getting on the highway by Yorktown Naval Weapon Station. Okay, you know that yep, is? yep, pretty. Yeah, it's just a little little cut to the right right there. And uh -huh. uh, I was following two other cars, and a puddle, like, just snatched the car and pulled it to the right and then yeah. it spun left and I yeah. went straight into the guardrail head first. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, it totaled it. Didn't hurt you at all, did it? Nah, I was, had like a sore neck a little bit, but that was yeah. it. Yeah. What year Actually, was it? Uh, 05. Yeah. Mint. Mint. Oh. Beautiful car. 50,000 miles on it. Oh, my God. Every option oh. that came, you could get on it. Man, it was so sad. It's not beautiful anymore. Say what? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Did they end up? They ended up totaling it, right? Yeah, they gave me more than I paid for it. So, oh, oh that's, good. Go. that's good. Yeah. Yeah, and then I bought her a Cadillac. So, oh. <laughs> you wrecked your car. Now get me one. Yep, yeah, that's what happened. Married life. <laughs> I'm waiting for this uh, 2024 Camaro Heritage Edition to come out. I think I'm gonna get a brand new one. I'm just gonna hold off till then. Hey, what are you doing over there, bud? I haven't heard from you in a little bit. Oh, I'm just trying to paint a car for Corey. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah, I appreciate that. He's doing the uh, Chastain one. He's, do he's doing the same thing he was doing for me at Ark the other night. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, I've, been, I've enjoyed that series. I've actually turned it on here at the house just to watch it just and make sure everything's working right. Right. And there's things that I forgot were said. That were pretty hilarious. <laughs> and I, I still love how I ended the, the first video. The second video is coming out this Sunday. And then that way we'll be caught up. No spoilers on here yet. 
we've we've actually I gotta got, watch the first video. I haven't watched it yet. We, we <laughs> we've gotten some good views so far. Yeah, my uh, my stepson thinks it's hilarious how bad we are. So that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, wait till I get back on there again. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm telling you, like I'm, I wish we could find more time. I just to want do a it. t-shirt or something. <laughs> a t-shirt? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've I'm been gonna, running around without clothes this time. I'm gonna this go buy JC Penny or something and get this. Man, that's a good time though. <clears throat> it, re- it really is. It's a good, good uh, anxiety releaser, if you will. Yeah. Just to go on there and mess around for a minute and. At least know, for and, now, it is. What yeah, ha- let's not give it. Are you not... trying? Are you trying to say it's more fun than i racing when i racing gets super frustrating because you're getting. <laughs> Just well, knock the yeah. hell out all the time. Yeah, ah, I come didn't on. say all that. So yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. should we? Can we talk about what happened today, Ian? I mean, I don't care if you want to. We can. I think it's Kevin's, hilarious. I mean, Kevin's the one you got to ask. Well, no, now you no. have to. Well, yeah, we we have to. I think it's hilarious. I'm gonna release this anyway yeah. after we do our next recording. Is this something that happened to Kevin again? No, no. <laughs> No, no, today Ian and I uh, went in there do a little extra work behind the scenes. Uh, I'm a little nervous about what you're about no. to say. It, it was not. It was me. not a good. It was bad. Uh, oh, you're making it, so it sound bad. very. Um, so uh, it's actually it's hilarious. Sexual, the right word. No, like, you're making no. it sound very like. No, <laughs> we're pretty sure we sure Ian behind the scenes. We no. So I, I mean, I go in there to make sure like. The animals are fed. Our stuff's like fixed. I like I'll go through your guys' inventory. If something that's really low, I'll fix it for you. <clears throat> but Ian and I were both in, and we decided like to go on a little boat trip just so I could figure out how to drive the boat smoothly for camera angles and viewers and whatnot. If I'm driving, and Ian took over at one point, so I started sitting up front, <laughs> and I don't. I think what happened. Is I may have accidentally hit my space bar while he was driving the boat. You see what it happened was. <laughs> well, basically. So I jumped out of the boat on accident. <laughs> it's pitch black. Hold, hold, hold on, time out, time out. We weren't like in the peninsula, like no, we where were we've been. out nowhere, out nowhere. <laughs> so we were basically going to try to trace the map. We only made it not even half across the bottom before I jumped out of the boat. And uh, I was killed instantly by like the megalodon or something. <laughs> Pitch yeah, black outside. Megalodon. Yeah. Pitch black outside. I'm like, fuck. So I spawned back in at the hut. I thought I tried to spawn in at the bed. We could, that's something you, good. Happen. You, yeah, you <laughs> died twice. Did I? <laughs> yes. Remember, you died the You're first time. You're worse than me. Here's what happened. All right. You. The the incident happened. You fucked up and jumped off the front of the boat. Yeah. Um, okay, you got killed by the really megalodon. Happened. Oh, that's you right. Got, you got killed by the megalodon. Well, then you were like, "Well, I need to get my shit. It's at the bottom of the ocean here, so I'm yep. gonna go swim down and grab it real quick." <laughs> that's right. That's so, right. So as soon as he jumps in the water, basically, he's like, "Oh <laughs> shit, there's a megalodon." <laughs> Well, guess what happens? <laughs> he gets killed, right? No, and then, no you're kidding. And then what happens is the bed on the boat has a cool down period. They all you do five get, minutes. You can't get back on the bed, and oh. so he has to spawn back at the hut. <laughs> well, now I don't know where the fuck I am. I'm in the middle of fucking nowhere. So I turn around and I go to try to find him. Meanwhile, the best the best part of this is I I assume y'all weren't even on Discord for this because I seen you were messaging each other back and forth. Oh, we were in Discord. We were Discord. Then why were you messaging each other on Facebook? We just fucking this, with me. This was after. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was gonna say I'm no. like watching this and it's like, why are you guys talking in Facebook? Like, no, this makes no, 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 sense. no, no, no. No, this was this was uh, okay. So I start driving the boat back, <laughs> and I'm, sorry. I'm like, "Hey, Corey, I'm gonna pick you up, bud." Well, <laughs> that didn't happen. where'd you go? <laughs> uh, fuck, I don't even know where it's at. 
uh, past the camp. <laughs> and when I go past the camp, I get ready to go turn around. Well, I'm playing on my controller, the Xbox controller, and I accidentally hit a button. <laughs> See? And he jumps out the boat. And I stop driving the boat. Jeez. <laughs> now, here comes the worst part. As soon as that happens, I try to swim to shore because I get attacked by a piranha. Yeah, well, of as course you did. Literally, as soon as I hit the water. So, I die. <laughs> well, I respawn on the boat. So, I respawn on the boat. I go back to try to get on the boat to go back to get Corey, who's at our camp, waiting for me. Like, hey, idiot, where the fuck are you? <laughs> and as soon as I jump in the water to try to get back on the boat to drive it because Corey's made it all fucked up now. <laughs> Hold on. That's that's a that's an important part of the story. We have a double decker boat. Well, to drive the fucking thing you have to get in the water now. You can't just uh, walk up on the fucking boat. I that's fixed great. it. I fixed yeah. it. <laughs> so, hey, hey. I jump back in the water to try to fucking drive the boat. Well, guess what happens again? <laughs> Killed by a piranha. <laughs> Well, now I can't respawn on the boat. So now the boat's out in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> can spawn on it. Nobody can spawn on it. So we have to make our way back. <laughs> oh, shit. And we have to try to find it. So the boat is gone now? No, no, no. Boat, like... <laughs> I got oh, it. Oh, so oh, yeah. Don's are driving right. it. <laughs> no. Yeah, now you get to tell the best part of the story, Corey. So we, we finally find it. We're walking together. <laughs> almost picking, get killed picking, by almost get killed a by long copies. walk on the beach yeah <laughs> almost get killed by copies on the way we get to the boat and we both like we're, we're separated a little bit we go in the water and there's a freaking baryonyx which is like another like a cross between a raptor and a t-rex just smaller in between the two yeah and i'm it's just sitting there swimming underneath it and i'm like oh fuck <laughs> so just guarding it yeah so we each try to swim for it. I think, Ian, you got killed underwater. Yep. And then I was going to try to go a long way around. I was kind of just going to the right, and it got alerted to me and just came and killed me. So now we're both dead again. <laughs> and I think... It took us three times to get it. Yeah, it took us a few times. I think that happened twice. Like, yeah. we actually, the second time, you had actually tried to draw him away, and yep. you did... And I was doing something on land. I was in my inventory. Next thing I know, I got this thing in my face, and it was the Baryonyx. Came out and killed me again. <laughs> I was like, God. And I think this next time, the Baryonyx was still on land. I spawned on the boat. And I was yep. like, I took advantage of that. And that's how we ended up finally getting the boat. And I'm like, I'm just going home. <laughs> yeah. Well, then you had to find me. Yeah. And there was a, what's the big crocodile? Uh, The Sarko. Right in front of yeah. you. Yeah, there's one right in front of me. So I couldn't cross the water to get to the boat. So I had to, like, make my way around the peninsula to find out where I could get back on the boat. Then I almost died because there were some compies after me, and I didn't have anything <laughs> on me at this point. No clothes. Well, no, I mean, no, why would you? No berries. No, no weapons. Like, absolutely nothing. <laughs> so we finally, you know, rowed our boat back to shore. But, uh... Yeah, it was, oh, well, there's, the name, there's the name of the podcast. Well, Load our boat back to shore. <laughs> I'm just gonna call it space finally, bar. I'm just gonna call finally, it space bar because yeah. that's what called it caused it. I accidentally hit the space bar and jumped off the boat. Everything went to shit from there. So I hop back in later. Oh, and um, you know, I'm just messing around, playing around, you know, harvesting berries and feeding everything and having a good old time, and then. I went and I was trying to get some thatch and some wood and stuff instead of, you know, going to our storage cabinets because we don't have like 18 of them already <laughs> and yeah. picking up wood and fiber and whatever else I need to make a damn spear. We have storage and... cabinets in our storage cabinets. Yeah. yeah. And I'm, I'm not joking. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. And uh, so I go and I'm hitting a tree with my fist, well, I didn't realize that there was a triceratops that close to me, and apparently that made him mad. And I was right <laughs> by the camp, and our pterodon and our parasaur uh, met their untimely death. 
so we no longer have pet. No. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, all sorts of fun. It was. Uh... Oh God. Yeah. I still. I mean, but... it's been a blast so far. I can't wait to oh, yeah, see what been... happens. We get more people in there with us. It's been great. So, I'm glad. And again, your boy you said your boy likes the shit, the videos, and yeah, and he's gonna. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't watch this podcast. Uh, but I did order him a PC for Christmas that's better than my PC. So nice. Um, way better actually. It's got 32 <laughs> gigs of RAM. It's got basically the equivalent of a was it a 3060 Ti? Ooh. And the newest, uh, or not the newest, but one of the newer Ryzen processors. Hell so, yeah. Yeah, that's, think, that's a good uh, computer. It really is, and I couldn't believe the deal on it. I mean, 700 bucks for it on Costco, so. And just like that, we're getting a Costco sponsorship. Yeah, right. I hope. Thank you again, Ian. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so, um, he'll... He'll get Ark and uh, come mess around on the server with us every now and then. And, It'd be fun. I, I, he, I'd like to try to find some more time that we can actually stream it. Right. But I'm trying to keep us all together. And I know sometimes it's not going to have to happen. But maybe, I mean, if you guys are on during the day anyway in the morning, at some points, if we could, we could do some there and actually progress a little bit to where we've been stuck until monday night or waiting till our monday night streaming recording you know to actually progress which is great because right. we can build ourselves up but we're not progressing anything where that's what i'm yeah, trying to do with the like video. an hour yeah. of playing yeah <clears throat> yeah and then, like with the videos and stuff that i'm putting together i'm actually trying to create the journey so i mean if i mean whenever we can that's what i thought about doing that but we'll see we have to just link up yeah. i'm fine with monday night still I can't no, wait it's for good, Monday nights. It's a good break from racing, from i racing, yeah. and you know some some of the racing's been kind of frustrating lately. So I wouldn't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> Never would. <laughs> well, if if we're talking about frustrating races, uh, my IWM Cup Series on Wednesday nights, I led uh, 95 laps in that race, Ooh. and. Uh, Lost it on a restart with 10 to go where I spun the tires and actually backstory timeout. I was cooling the tires in the grass under cautions because I was on like super old tires, right? Yeah. Well, I decided at one point that I was going to put all four tires on the grass. Well, that gave me an off track, which is a 1X, right? Yeah. That put me at 10X for the race. Well, they do a penalty at 14 x Oh, so, no. So when I spun the tires, I could have had a way better finish uh, if I didn't get the penalty. But I got a penalty for the 14 x um, I ended up third after spinning the tires. and You get hit in the rear? When I spun the tires? Yeah. No, I was just, like I said, I was on probably at that point. Um. 95 lap old tires at North Wilkesboro. I was going to say, at North Wilkesboro and the next gen, right? Yeah. Oh, yep. God. And so I spun the tire. It was actually, honestly, it was one of the more fun races I've been in until that point. Um, spun the tires, hit the front stretch wall. Well, that gave me a 4X, and that gave me a penalty. So, uh. you know. Um, but it was an overall good race. Our, my teammate there, uh, who is... Uh, that, do we want to? We want to discuss that at all? The the relationship there. We, it's up to you, Corey. Uh, or you want to? I don't know. I guess we can discuss that later. Okay. I, I don't know. Well, anyways, that one. my teammate won the race. My other teammate finished second. I finished eighth, and one of our other teammates finished eighteenth on in that league. So, decent race for everybody and part of the team there, but uh frustration right yeah lead, lead that many laps and i mean and just get pressured into a mistake that's really all it was i knew that my teammates had 
pressure tires and they were going to be quick. I had to try to get the jump and just messed it up. I mean, here's one thing talking about your teammates there. I, honestly, I think it wouldn't be a bad thing to discuss them because we're looking at putting together still events. Right. Like we had been since before you were coming. But now with 11-11 yeah. and everything going on there, they have other outlets that or yeah. people that run their stuff. Maybe not to the same level that we are now, but they can come in and join us for those events. So yeah, and then there's a good sure. guy too, like Harley I know for sure. I know him. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and the other one, I don't know his name. Uh, we got Christopher Howell, who's my cousin's husband. Yeah. Um, and then we got Joey Doucette, who's a Maina himself. Uh, he's up up Maine a little ways. Yeah. So, um, and then we've got... With a name uh, like Doucette. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You already know <laughs> what that is. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's uh oh where is he at? What's the what's the other racetrack up there? Wiscasset, is that what it is? Yeah, Wiscasset Speedway. I think he's about thirty minutes from Wiscasset, so Okay. He's he's not too far. But he's 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 way up Maine, if you will. Yep. Up there. <laughs> up in I don't know that he's in the county, but he's up there. <laughs> Well, hopefully we can get them all in on some of these events. If we have, we I think at some point we need to sit down and have a, you know, plan them out. We had them going, but with everything changing, yep. and with our luck with eleven eleven and the way support's changing and everything, I'm gonna take a different look at it. So, yeah, yeah. I think that's a pretty good wrap up for the month. I mean, NASCAR season's out, so we're kind of limited on what to talk about there. Yeah. Well, 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 we're on here, I guess we can talk about the Snowball Derby because uh, qualifying did happen today. It did. I forgot to uh, look at that. Josh Berry's on the pole. Hell yeah. Derek Thorne is second. Um, third is Connor Jones, who's a local to Virginia. Uh, fourth was... God, who was fourth? Anyways, Noah Gregson rounded out the top five, and Ty Majewski is like 15th. Where did, uh, because Brad's running it this year, isn't he? Yeah, he's got to go to the LCQ. He uh, qualified 43rd. Oh! Yep. So he had a rough go of it. Um, William Byron's 13th. Carson Quapel, uh is 6th. Man. Let's go, let's go to the full results. We can do a rundown here. Yeah. Josh Berry, Derek. Josh Berry, uh, Derek Thorne, Connor Jones, Matt Craig, Noah Gregson, Carson Quapel, Giovanni Ruggiero is 7th, Jacob Gomes, Austin Mason, Ryan Luza is 10th, Chase Hansen's 11th, Eric Jones 12th, William Byron, Bubba Pollard, Ty Majewski round up to top 15, uh, Cole Butcher, Jake Garcia, Luke Finhouse, Corey Heim, and Hunter Robbins is your top 20, uh, Jeremy Doff, Daniel Dye, Dustin Smith, Albert Francis, Casey Roderick, Blaine Rocha, Tyler Tanner, Sammy Smith, Michael Hind, and Jake Finch are the drivers that are locked in as of this point. Ryan Luzo. Legal this time. Sorry? I said it's Majeski legal this time. Yeah. <laughs> so so um <laughs> calling people out now. Actually, so speaking of that, right? So I have no idea what happened. I just saw he got disqualified. Yeah. yeah. So what that was was a gun drill bolt. Um, and so the crew chief there, Toby, I can't remember Toby's last name. Um, he said it was his fault. They had put together the track bar assembly, and he had run out of the uh, standard bolts. So he put a gun drill bolt in it just as a placeholder, so they could get the car assembled. And forgot to take it out. Oh, whoops. It's yep. an honest mistake. $30,000 mistake. Yeah. That's it, guys. We'll see you guys next month. You guys have a good night. Great weekend. Have a great week. Bye-bye.